Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, first off, I know I said in my last video that my apartment was going to be my backdrop, but it is a massive mess right now. So we're back to the corner of my lounge room. <laughs> Trust me guys, you do not want to see my apartment right now. I'm a little bit ashamed of how bad I let it get, but I'm going to clean it after this video. That's a lie. I'm going to clean it tomorrow. That's better. Anyway, today's video is going to be testing the new ColourPop face products. I recently did a video testing ColourPop makeup, but they didn't have face products when I made that, and now they do, so obviously I need to test them. So in my testing ColourPop makeup video, I liked most of the products that I tried, so I do have really high expectations for this foundation. If you guys want me to do more testing videos, leave me a comment and let me know, and also give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get testing these face products. So I bought the foundation, the No Filter Setting Powder, and three of the no filter sheer pressed powders. The shades I got are medium 90. I feel like this is gonna be a good match. Good work, cat. I had to pick this from the internet swatches and that's never a good time. Then for the no filter sheer pressed powders, I got medium, medium dark, and fair. Then lastly for the no filter setting powder, I just got translucent. Also just ignore the chips on my nails. I know I need to take off my nail polish. I never wear nail polish. This is a new thing for me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off by priming half my face. Also, how's my lighting looking? I feel like I finally have got it down pat. I'm asking too many questions. Okay, let's get onto the foundation. I'm gonna start off by priming half my face. This is the Urban Decay B6 Primer. Okay. Ugh. This doesn't help minimize pores or anything. It just helps the foundation stick to your face better. I really like it. Now, I'm going to apply this with a beauty blender because I never really use brushes to apply my foundation anymore. I just really like how natural the foundations look when you apply it with a sponge. Okay, first thing, I like that this foundation, the lid locks. So that way you can pop it in your makeup bag and you don't have to worry about it spilling. And the pump's really easy to control. So I'm gonna start off with that much. I'm gonna do this half of my face first. Okay, I feel like that was a lot of foundation got really high coverage. I feel like I could do my entire face with the foundation I just put on the sponge. It doesn't really have a smell, which is good. I need to bring my mirror closer so I can actually see the foundation. <laughs> it does feel pretty hydrating, like it doesn't feel like a usual matte foundation. I don't know what the finish of this is supposed to be, so I guess we'll find out. Okay, so one and a half pumps did my entire face. I could probably have done uh, like one pump on my entire face. And that color is a really good match, wow. I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit more to the side that I didn't prime. I am liking the side that I primed more. It's just sticking a lot better and sitting a lot better. I feel like this side is moving around a bit more. Okay, so initial thoughts, it applies a lot better with the B6 primer. I feel like this just looks really even and flawless, whereas this is sort of moved around a bit with the sponge. It still looks good though. It does feel quite wet though, so I am gonna need to set it. For reference, I have oily skin, so I basically need to set every foundation anyway. On me right now, it looks like it's got a dewy finish because I haven't set it, so we'll see how it looks after I set it. But the coverage is really good. I'd say it's got like medium to high coverage. It's covered all of my acne scarring, my hyper and hypopigmentation, uh, my pimple on my chin, you can barely see it. I'm really happy with the coverage. So let's go ahead and add some concealer. I am now concealed and we are going to set that. So I figured I would try the no filter setting powder under my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I'd use the pressed powder. So let's give this a go. I always make such a mess with loose powders. Ugh. It does have a bit of a color to it, like a light yellow. I'm just going to pop this on under my eyes. Ooh, I picked up way too much powder. It's like we're baking today. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is a fantastic powder. So easy to blend. My under eyes don't look cakey. I love it. As you guys can see, that like blends away so easily. I'll zoom you guys in at the end so you can see just how amazing everything looks. This powder hasn't added an ashy tone like some translucent powders do. Definitely recommend this powder so far. Okay, now for the rest of our face. I feel like that foundation has dried a little bit. I can still feel like the wetness on my face though, so I think this is a foundation I'm gonna have to set. And I'm gonna set it with medium dark. Personally, I don't think medium dark is that dark, but that's just me. So I'm just gonna take some on a powder brush. I love the packaging of this. Oh. I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm 
liking this powder so far as well. It's added a bit of color, but not so much like changed the coverage. And it's definitely mattified the foundation, but it doesn't look like cakey or flat. I really like it. So far, so good. Now I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my base and we'll be right back. And I'm back with my face finished. So my thoughts so far, I am really, really liking this foundation. The only thing is it's starting to crease in my smile lines. Hopefully that doesn't get too bad. 99% of foundations crease in my smile lines. I feel like the only ones that don't crease are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I feel like everything else creases in my smile lines. It looks like this one's not gonna be any different. But well, the coverage is awesome, the color is awesome, it hasn't oxidized, and it's looking pretty good. I'd say so far this is my fourth favorite foundation. The ones that don't crease in my smile lines are first. We do have to see how it's gonna wear though. And I'm really liking the powder. I think the powder has done an awesome job of setting everything and it doesn't look cakey. I really like the powder. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in now so you can see how my skin is looking. Ooh. So this is how my skin is looking. As you can see, there's some slight creasing going on in my smile lines. But other than that, it is looking pretty good. You can still see my pores, but I didn't use a pore filling primer beforehand. So I feel like my pores are looking how they always look with foundation. But yeah, I really, really like it so far. And best of all, it's only 12 US dollars, which is amazing. It does come in a glass container though, which is probably better for the environment. Is glass better than plastic for the environment? Like if you're still throwing it out when it's done? Probably. Someone correct me on that. It does mean if I drop this, it's probably gonna smash. I'm not sure how good it'd be to travel with, but the actual foundation itself, I'm really liking so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna go film another video and then we're gonna come back and see how this foundation is worn. See you guys soon. Okay guys, I'm back with an outfit change and a foundation update. I feel like my foundation has darkened like a little bit. Doesn't quite match my body right now, but I am a bit pale. So I feel like it will match once I like touch up my fake tan. Also, yes, I know, uh, missing half the nail polish on this finger now. So an update on how it's wearing. It's been about four hours now. Uh, I can feel myself getting greasy. Let me just move my mirror closer. So it's like separating on my chin. Ooh. And if I touch it, it just comes straight off my chin. Uh, it has settled into my smile lines quite a fair bit as well. I feel like from here up though, it's looking perfect. So it has dropped from my top four because it is separating so badly on my chin. I feel like I am gonna have to play around with some mattifying primers on my chin to see if I can make this foundation work better. If you don't have oily skin and have got more like normal skin, I feel like this would work a lot better on your skin than it does on mine. This still is an all right foundation, like it was only 12 US dollars, but it's not my favorite. If you don't have an issue with smile lines or oily skin, I feel like this would work really well for you but unfortunately it's just not working as well as what I would like on my skin. Let's zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm talking about. So as you guys can see, it's settled into my smile lines here and look at my chin. It's like gone from up here and it's all separating. Oh well, hopefully ColourPop will come out with another foundation more suited for oily skin. One can dream, you know. So this is the end of my testing ColourPop face products video. Whilst the foundation didn't work as well as I hoped, I did really like the powder though, especially this no filter setting powder. I would definitely recommend getting the powders. But yeah, foundation, I'd probably only recommend trying if you have like normal skin. If your skin gets as oily as mine, I feel like it just doesn't really last. But that's just my experience, so if you guys have tried this, uh, let me know what your experience was in the comments. Did you like it? Did it last on you? Let me know. And as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more from me. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!